June 14, 2019, Friday of the Tenth Week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we hold this treasure in earthen vessels, that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way but not constrained, perplexed but not driven to despair, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are constantly being given up to death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since then, we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We too believe and therefore speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. I believed, even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, No man is dependable. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord.